Can you tell us your name? Jean Mockamer. Mockamer. -er. Okay. Uh, what have you brought to the harvest today? What have you brought to the harvest today? <clears throat> the picture of my great grandfather. William Wilson. William E. Wilson, my great grandfather. Um, when, like, how old is it, do you know, approximately? This picture, uh, let me see, figure out it was, uh, let's see. <clears throat> mm hmm. He was 21 years when this was taken, he was about 21 years, and I think he was born 1837, and I think he determined downstairs that he was 21 when this was taken. He served on the old <coughs> iron side. <laughs> um, when did he serve in, like, which war? The Civil. The American Civil War? Yeah, that's, that's his discharge, huh? I see. Um, why did you decide to bring those to the harvest today? <clears throat> because he was one of the original owners of the Flynet factory in Milton. And he was born in Milton. What was the name of the factory you said? Pardon? The name of the factory that he owned? Mm -mm -mm. Let me see. Put your glasses on, you'll be able to see. Mm -hmm. uh, He was a partner in the Flyneck Factor. It was a... I thought there was a picture of that here. Flyneck Factory. Because they do know all about it in town. Here it is. Yeah. That's the Flyneck Factory. It was original owner. That's what that has to do with the Milton history. That was one of the original uh, businesses in Milton. Um, so it's, has a photo been... It was established in 1860. Uh, so has that photo been in your family since it was taken? Um, and just like passed down, like how did your family acquire it? This was? Yes. <clears throat> this was owned, uh, his, his uh, daughter had this, which was my grandmother, would be my grandmother, yeah. Because this was her father. This was my grandmother's father. So it was handed down from my grandmother to my aunt, and my aunt handed it down to me. And I have had that since 73, you say? The date's on here. I've had it since 73. That's quite a long time. Um, are there any other things? Is there anything else that you'd like to show? Or is it just the No, photos? this is... Oh, what do you mean about that has to do yeah, with... Yeah, anything else okay. at all yes. that you just now, want to talk yes, about? Yes, that's right. Because I think John would be interested in this. Uh, James Hepburn was the brother of, William Hepburn was his brother. And William Hepburn would be my great, great grandfather. He is buried at Williamsport. And it was just in a paper about James Hepburn being, uh, having to do with the history of Melton. So this William Halbern would be by would be his brother. That's how that came about. I have, the history is here. Uh, let me see William Halbern, and I have his picture in there.
Pitts. That would be the brother of James, and that would be my great-great-grandfather. And his daughter got around from the Hepburns to the Wilson. His grandfather, or his daughter, was married to Matt Wilson. That's how the Wilsons got in it. From then on down, William Wilson was his son. His judge, the, judge, the judge's son. Oh, sorry. Um... Uh, for folks unfamiliar with Milton watching this video, what does your item tell them about your town? What's this now? Uh, what does your what do your items tell people who are like unfamiliar with Milton about Milton? Hmm. Other than that, the flynet factory is the one was the main industry of Milton. And that's what they wanted to know about the history of Milton. And they said, you know, this centennial thing going on. And these people were all born in Milton. He was born here in 1837. I don't think a lot of people know what history of Milton is. Do you know what I mean? how it was way back there that um, do you have any final thoughts for I'm, I'm sure John Meckley does it that's why I want John to see this do you have any final thoughts for people watching this interview do I have any what final thoughts for people that would be watching this interview other than that I am 88 I was born in Milton I've lived here all my life, and I love it. I'll end up here. I love this town.